most are storing money in a tool they believe creates wealth without being told the truth about how the types of interest really factor in to wealth creation. To illustrate my point, let's look at the following three types of interest and how they work. 1. Simple interest. 2. Compound interest. 3. Uninterrupted compound interest. Let's say that John puts money into an account earning simple interest, Susie puts money in an account earning compound interest, and Eric uses an account earning uninterrupted compound interest. They each start with $10,000, and each account earns 4% interest per year. Year 1. They each earn $400, making their account balance $10,400. Year 2. John earns another $400, making his balance $10,800. Susie earns $416, making her balance $10,816. And Eric earns $416, making his balance $10,816. Year 3. John earns another $400, making his balance $11,200. Susie earns $432.64, making her balance $11,248.64. And Eric also earns $432.64, making his balance $11,248.64. Susie decides to use $1,248.64 of her money to make a purchase, dropping her account balance back to $10,000. Year 4. John is still earning his $400 a year, making his balance $11,600. Susie only earns $400, making her balance $10,400. And Eric earns $449.95, making his balance $11,698.58. Should we keep going without interruption in another 10 years? John would have $15,600. Susie would have 15395 and Eric would have $17,317. One interruption in 14 years caused Susie to be behind John, who was earning simple interest. The type of interest matters. You want to store your money where you earn uninterrupted compound interest. To learn more, check out Mary Jo's books, Farming Without the Bank and Life Without the Bank.